Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Corolla that generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those guys and if you need to find where your fuse boxes are located, you have two fuse boxes, but one of them has hidden fuses on one side of it. Uh, we'll explain about that. Where your relays are located there at the four different locations, we'll explain about that. We will talk where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time and why it's important guys to always test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We'll show you how to do engine work, transmission, mechanical, body work, anything you can think of practically. On this channel specifically, we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation, guys. If you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes. Uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusing uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now so if you guys have a Toyota Corolla we'll demonstrate on that uh, model right here that's uh, 2015 Toyota Corolla but if you have one of those and if you need to find now okay uh, where the fuse boxes are located and the relays as well first we need to open the uh, the driver door here things get quite interesting when you open the driver door if you look under the dash kind of like on the left side all the way upside down you're going to find one cover that looks like this one and when you open it that's the main interior fuse box right here those are some of the fuses we'll be making video for every single fuse every single relay in that car that way guys okay if you need something you'll be able to find it and you'll get back on the route now uh, before we continue there is a few more locations let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so that same fuse box now right but if you come it will be that same fuse box that you looked under the dash but on the front side of that box kind of like behind that panel right here okay where all the wires connect you're going to end up having two more fuses there as well guys okay you can see right there so uh that's the bottom of the fuse box that's the cover you can see where the other fuses are that clear cover and on the front side you have more fuses then behind the dash kind of like behind the radio you have a relay box it consists of up to five different relays it's inside the dash and if you come to this side behind the glove box okay if you remove the glove box on the right side in the corner you're going to have the windshield wipers relay hidden there as well another thing that you will need to check is open the hood once you open the hood here facing the engine on the right side or in other words the driver's side under this cover if you open that cover you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look like this one here so those are the main locations for the fuse boxes uh, if you want to know what each fuse and relay is for we'll make videos for each one of those on our channel hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time